Hello. Alright, um, so Star Wars Attack of the Clones, episode 2. Cartoon Network did make a cool TV show, Attack of the Clones. So many years ago. Man, I feel so old. Um, so, yeah, Yoda's in this movie. That's awesome. And we also get to see Yoda fight Count Dooku at the end of the movie, which... Love it. Um, what else happens in this movie? So again, this is a three hour long movie. A lot happens in the movie. Like, um, let's see. We have to see where the clone, the Star Troopers come from. We get to see how the, the cloning facility where the Star Troopers came from. Um, what else do we get to see? Basically, Anakin is now a teenager. Obi Wan is training him. This is also the only way we get to see like the love between um Anakin and Princess Padme. Okay, what else happens? Um, they get captured. And then a bunch of Jedi's come in to save the day. We also get to see Boba Fett's dad, Jenga Fett. And, yeah, he dies. In this one. And Boba Fett basically became, um, his son. So I think, like, his little feel that Boba Fett was a clone of Jenga Fett. Or a child clone. I don't know. Alrighty, um, I believe General Grievous was in this movie. Was he in this one or was he in the next one? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, a lot of characters were introduced in this movie. Uh, okay, like Dooku. I do not think, um... I don't think, um, what's his face? Jar Jar Binks is in this movie. Uh, was he even in the third one? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, right. So apparently Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be a Sith Lord. It's going to be real that he was going to be a Sith Lord and, um, a Sith in um, this movie. But then they decided that would be weird and dumb, so they went with Dooku to be um the Sif and said. Dooku does get killed off in the third one opening scene. I remember the movie begins with like um an assassination attempt at Padme or oh. And again, jumps out the window. We got to see a cool um, district. Pretty lights and all that. Uh, the one gets away. And again, so the movie's mostly about like the romance between Padme and Anakin and the clones. And them being captured by Vil Dooku and others. And then Mace Windu shows up and saves the day. With a bunch of other Jedi's. So yeah, they basically forced a fight in the um like a gladiator arena type thing, but was rescued. So that's nice. Again, this movie did start the um the T V series, which um yeah, the Clone Wars. I miss that show. And yeah, um Anakin also gets um an apprentice, um Oh yeah, right. Ahsoka's not in this movie at all. She was. She's a new character introduced in the Clone Wars TV show, TV series on Cartoon Network. Alrighty, what else? It's a great movie. It's fun. Hmm. I'm sure it's the third one where he fights General Grievous. But I think Grievous was introduced in this movie, but. You don't see him until the third movie. 
Actually, no, I think he's introduced in the third movie. Alrighty, um... Hmm... Again, probably the se mm, second best. Uh, revenge of the Sith is one there, because that's going down the dark side. Gets revenge on his mom. Um, slaughtered children. And basically became a Sith. The movies are fun and great. I like the lightsaber fights. And again, the ending where Yoda fights Dooku is amazing. Dooku does get away at the end, but... Still. Um... Alrighty, um, so yeah. I miss the older Star Wars movies, I really do. Oh yeah, this is, so um, Yoda is also voiced by the same individual who voices um, Miss Piggy from The Muppets. Did not know that until I watched the Tosh.0 episode on Star Wars. Yeah, the, the Star Wars episode. That's neat. Uh, I miss Star Wars. I did hear that they plan on bringing back like Luke Skywalker in an attempt to make money because Disney is losing a lot of money with the whole um a lot of stuff they're making. The Acolyte and many other shows too. Although I don't know what's the point of bringing Luke in because his character was already fully character assassinated beyond repair. But uh, maybe they'll do something good. Of course, it'll be a prequel, but yeah. <sighs> Hope everyone has a safe day.